Well, it has been a hard few days for many South Georgia residents. The Wilcox County community is still reeling from the death of their sheriff, Robert Rogers. He was killed in a crash Tuesday while on duty, responding to a domestic violence call. WALB News 10's Riley Armont tells us about Sheriff Rogers and the impact he had on Wilcox County families. A true friend and a man who was in the prime of his life, that's a small testament to the incredible impact Sheriff Rogers had on the people of Wilcox County. One man tells me that the sheriff is truly gone too soon. He was still a young man. I think he was 52, if I'm not mistaken. It floored me. I mean, I just... Knight says he and Sheriff Rogers developed a good relationship because the sheriff often patrolled his neighborhood. In one instance, Sheriff Rogers went out of his way to check on Knight and his family when there was an escaped inmate in the area. Actually positioned himself out here in front of our home uh, as kind of a lookout for several days. There have been other times when we had a lot of mischief activity going on on our dirt roads and he would respond to that immediately. Governor Brian Kemp also released a statement on X, formerly known as Twitter, saying in part, quote, Marty, the girls and I are heartbroken to hear of Sheriff Robert Rogers' tragic passing. His commitment to justice and public safety made Wilcox County a safer place to call home, end quote. I'm going to remember him as the chief law enforcement officer of our county that we could be very proud of. And... The fact that he was a true patriot of our country, and he's going to be sorely missed as far as I'm concerned. He I spoke briefly with the Wilcox County Sheriff's Office, and they say that funeral arrangements are currently in the works. We will keep you updated as we learn more. Riley Armand, WALB, your hometown news source.